Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to program a 10 meter and six meter repeater into the Yaesu FT710. And we'll get started right after this. Okay, first things first, before we get started. We're gonna start by inputting the six meter repeater. First thing you wanna do is change your mode. I'm gonna to go to FM. Then you wanna change your frequency and we're gonna use 52.620. Once you have those input, go ahead and press the function knob to bring up the menu and go to the bottom left corner, radio setting. Then you want to click on mode FM, scroll down, till you get to your repeater shift, press on the function knob and then change it. And you have simp or positive, we want negative. Then go down to the kilohertz, for six meter, which is the bottom one, 10 meters for the top one. And we wanna go down to 500. Choose your encode. I'm using tone squelch, so I don't have to listen to the static. And then choose the PL tone you want. Once you're all set, back out. And now to save it into memory, you're gonna press and hold the VFO memory button. Then choose the area you wanna save it in. We wanna use number two. Once you've decided on the one you want, press and hold the VFO memory button again, and it locks it in. Now to add a name, click on name. And enter the one you want. In this case, we want Catalina. Once you're all done, back out. You can have either display the frequency or the name. To change it, you're gonna tap on display type and then turn the step knob. You can switch over to memory. And there you have it. Let's see if we can't make a quick contact. Anyone available for quick signal report, trying out a new radio, WJ6F, Irvine. Well, we got the repeater to come back. Now we'll put in a 10 meter repeater. Switch back to VFO. We're already in the FM mode, so we don't need to change that. Change our frequency. We want 29.640. Then we'll again go back into the menu. And we'll stay in FM mode. And now we're gonna go up to change the kilohertz. And we do want 100, so we're all set there. We don't have to change anything. We'll go back down to our PL tone, and that will be 107.2. And our direction, we already have that set at minus. Back, back out. And again, to save it, press and hold the VFO memory. We'll go down to three and save it in there. And then we'll change the name again. And you can see when it's grayed out like it is for Santiago, that means that it will display the frequency number. When it's highlighted as Catalina is, it will show the name. 
And I'm going to try and make a contact with this repeater or someone on there, but I don't know that it's going to work. Repeater book is showing that this repeater is currently out of service. Okay, let's see if we can make a contact. Like I said, though, this repeater showing on repeater book is not being in service. Anyone available for a quick signal report? Trying out a new radio, WJ6F, Irvine. Yeah, that repeater is definitely down, not getting anything back. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there is a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, check out one of these other videos. And thanks again for watching.